Hello guys! So the other day I was wandering around my neighborhood and I stopped in at a 7-Eleven that I haven't been to before and found some really cool like flavored caramels and I just wanted to show you guys. So these seem to be some sort of Hokkaido specialty caramels because they have a little logo um, that has Hokkaido on them um, and all the varying flavors I think are like supposed to showcase Hokkaido's goodness. So anyway, there's a few different flavors. Each of these boxes here were 130 yen. And in each box, I think there's about 20 caramels or so. I could count how many there are in there, but I am filming this video um, two days after I bought these. So I now currently have one of each flavor left because I've eaten the rest of them. Anyway, I'm gonna show you what they are taste them and tell you if they're nice or not. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna try is the Hokkaido Butter Caramel. So you would think that this would just taste like a normal caramel because most caramels are, tend to be kind of butter flavored, right? Like sugar and butter makes caramels. Anyway, itadakimasu. Yep, just as I suspected, it tastes like a caramel. A pretty delicious caramel and slightly kind of that burnt butter flavor that you get when you make like a burnt butter sauce. But my favorite thing about, actually my favorite thing about all these caramels, but particularly this one, are the ridiculous pictures that are on the front of these. Look at that. It's like a stick of butter. She it's a guy with a stick of butter for a head playing baseball. Oh, and by the way guys, this is by a brand called Donan, and it says that it's confectionery in Hokkaido since 1980. So, they've been around a little longer than I have. So, I am now going to rename this flavor Butterhead Baseball. So, the second one I'm going to try for you is the Furano Melon Caramel. And this, I was very excited about, because melon flavored, yes. Caramel, yes. Furano. Yes, so this one's a little orange looking thingy. Mm, so good. Guys, oh my god. That is ridiculously delicious. It's like sweet melony. Sweet melony. It's, it's a person. It's all those things that you would expect from a melon caramel. Perfect. I love it. Best caramel I've ever had. And Look at the picture. So the name of this one comes care of Clara Cupcakes on Twitter. It's Wafflehead Foxtail. Yup. Next one is the Hokkaido Condensed Milk Caramel. So you would think condensed milk. Caramel. Yeah. Let's give it a go. So the condensed milk one is pretty similar to the butter one actually. It's a fairly standard Delicious caramelly, kind of milky flavor. Kind of like a Milko, kind of like a caramel. Yeah, it's pretty good. And this one is, what the hell? These pictures are so weird. Uh, I'm gonna call him Scoff Face Milk Guy. Mm-hmm, yep, just happened. Scoff Face Milk Guy. Okie dokie, so the next flavor I've got to try, the Tokachi Azuki Caramel. So if you don't know, Azuki beans are very popular here in Japan. They're often used in sweets, so they'll make it into um, a red bean paste and they'll stick it in pastries and stuff. It's very popular, very delicious. Um, so this one should be great. Itadakimasu. Mmm, guys, sorry. Inside of my mouth, shut <laughs> so good. Oh my god. I can't even describe it. It's like the best caramel you've ever eaten. It's just got this really interesting, um, I wouldn't even say it's a sweet bean flavor. It's, I don't know. I have no idea how to describe this flavor. So I recommend if you're here in Hokkaido, you find these um, caramels, definitely get the Azuki one because I can't even describe it. You'll have to try it yourself. Amazing. And this one shall be called Royal Beanhead. And last, we've got the Hokkaido Strawberry Caramel. So I've mentioned before that strawberry is a really popular flavor here in Japan. Um, they do it really well. It's not too artificially tasting. Um, and they, yeah, there's lots of it. So yeah, let's give it a go. Itadakimasu. 
Mmm, that one's really good as well. Just a subtle, light strawberry flavor, along with the caramel. So good. And we shall call this one Sassy Pants Strawberry Face. Okay, so I've rated these from best to worst. Best is definitely Royal Bean Head. Second best, Waffle Head Foxtail. Third best, Sassy Pants Strawberry Face. Is that it? Fourth best. What did I call this guy again? The scoffy face? Scoffy pa face milk pants? I don't know. And then of course we've got last, still delicious but a little bit boring, Butterhead Baseball. If you're here in Hokkaido and you're at the 7-Eleven, um, keep an eye out for these. Buy them. I would definitely recommend buying the these three. So we've got the strawberry, melon and azuki bean. They're a little bit different to normal caramel, something you wouldn't get back home. They're only 130 yen each. And if you're like me, you'll eat pretty much all of them in one sitting and feel very, very sick. So don't do that. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. As always, if you want to keep in touch with all my Japan adventures, which there will be many, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye!